Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the podcast Entre Curls and if this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Philo and now let me explain how this works. This is a bilingual podcast and I do episodes in both Portuguese and English. Today's episode is in English and next week one will be in Portuguese. If you prefer, you can also jump on YouTube and check the episodes over there with subtitles in both Portuguese and English, okay? And now let's go on to the topics of today's episode. So let me start with the most upsetting events that happened this past week in Portugal. And let me just start with for those of my friends that actually asked me um, how is Portugal uh, in regards to racism in case you don't know Portugal is one of the was one of the uh, biggest colonizers of Europe um, biggest in the sense of they started a lot of uh, the colonization of many countries. Um, that's why I'm black and that's why I'm Portuguese. And, you know, uh, as well as the Black Lives Matter protests that happened here and all over uh, America, it also happened in many countries. Uh, Uh, countries all over Europe Portugal was one of them obviously because we have a history of um, racism uh, events in Portugal daily it's not something that people normally talk about but we have to it's not that people don't talk about normally people don't really care and that's how bad Portugal is If people think that in the UK, there's a lot as well under, it's not really under the covers, but trust me, Portugal is even worse. And when events like last week happens, it's even worse. So let me break it down for you. If you don't know what happened, we have a political party called Chega, uh, enough. Uh, which is um, far right uh, political party. They decided to protest. They did a protest as well. And the main reason behind it was because they didn't want. So basically, they said that uh, everybody. As, so basically, the, the pro, let me put this in a better words. They were protesting because they say that Portugal is not a racist country. That was the reason, the reason behind it. But then, <laughs> being um, if you were there and if you see the pictures of the actual protest you can actually see how the people were behaving and we at least i know how these things work and <laughs> for me it was upsetting to see and what they were saying in uh, to the journalists there is just out of this world that somebody can actually After everything that's happening, somebody even comes forward and say that Portugal is not a racist uh, country. It's like, in which world do you live on? It's crazy. They were saying, like, they don't want people to think that they have, like, minorities, because he said minorities. They don't want them to think that they have more, not privileges, but, you know, um, they have to be, I don't, I don't even have the words to exp explain it, but you know what I mean? Like, they don't want them to feel special, let's say, like this, that everybody has the same rights. 
that they were just protesting and marching to emphasize that the minorities they have their rights but also their duties and they were just making a point to make sure that people understand the portuguese values well obviously if you don't understand portuguese values portuguese has many other of the great countries of europe that were built under slavery and colonizing other other countries that's what it means by maintaining the portuguese values is maintaining what happened years and years ago as i said in the beginning it's a far right uh, political party so what can we expect the only good thing let's say just to ease it up on this topic because it upsets me so much i seriously it's like i can't i can't deal with these things it messes up with my mood extremely so that's why i just want to bring up something that happened during this uh protest that a guy actually stand up and went alone to this protest with a pride flag alone i need to i need to say this again he went alone he got out of his house and he went alone to this protest with a pride flag and raising up the flag to everyone in there to to see that's that takes so much courage to stand up for what you believe and say in their face listen i'm proud of who i am and it's not because of you protesting that portugal is not a racist that minorities have the same rights as everybody else which clearly that doesn't happen in portugal like never uh that will stop me he says that what he did it was for all minorities not only for him but for all minorities and i have to applaud him for the courage to go there and stand up for what he believes is right um but yeah i really had to point this out because i was really really touched by what he did leaving his own safe house to go to the middle of a protest with people that have no intentions to be nice to him probably but they probably even they didn't even acknowledge him because there was cameras there and everything so and that's it that's it for this topic because it really upset my mood and i really don't want to talk about it please not today but there you have it for those of you that always ask how is portugal in regards to racism i have a little bit of it just a little bit because there's a lot more going on but yeah changing a little bit of subject a little bit to something more interesting and less upsetting uh in case you guys don't know i have uh in case you don't know i have a business a small business i sell some hair pins uh, or clips don't know how you call it but yeah um with some personalized words and also some uh, ethnic uh earrings uh with the fist that we see in all the uh black life uh life matters and african um continent earrings and also some hair picks and let me tell you when i thought about starting selling this i didn't had in mind i know it's hard work i know but i'm actually like it's not overwhelmed the word because i knew how much work i had i had to put on but i appreciate so much more all the business owners that actually grow their business on their own like for example also curly she's one of my uh top business owners that i really love look up to i really really like uh what she's doing what she does from the beginning i follow her like i don't know 5 years now that i follow her on instagram that i start following her on instagram and i really really like uh everything that she does and how she, how she is building her brand and for me i just hope one day to get there but it's like lately i've been waiting for my new uh products to arrive because with all of this coronavirus situation 
and I were in the meantime as I said I think two episodes previously or in the Portuguese episode I can't remember <laughs> correctly now I've been uh, updating changing the design a little bit of the branding uh, I ordered as well my new bags which I think they're probably on their way as well uh, I've been doing a lot of rebranding and planning a lot of stuff uh, rethinking if I should reopen the website page or not because I had a website for the for the shop but I didn't see the purpose at the beginning I know it's important to have a solid place where you can sell your stuff but you know I had I didn't have I thought it would be easier if I just sell it on Instagram if you know what I mean it's like straightforward I advertise it there people want it they buy it and that's how it's been going I've been advertising on Instagram and my friends advertise it as well and then people buy it it's super happy how everything is going now I don't know if it's just because of Black Lives Matter situation and then people looking for um, more ways to support small businesses and black owned businesses but I'm really happy the, the way that uh, everything is going now uh, but obviously it can always grow and I hope it grows faster I just can't wait to improve um, the brand and my marketing and my quality and if let me just do a little bit of advertising a little bit more of advertising if you want to purchase any of my um, pieces uh, earrings or hair clips hair pins just go over to my Instagram page it's at bedjolove.com uh, it's also in the description of this episode if you want to know uh, the name of the Instagram page or you can also by the time that this episode goes live I think I'm pretty sure the page should be up on my blog the page where you can see all the pieces all the items they should be there with links and everything I hope I think I'm pretty sure <laughs> it should be uh, everything in there as well if you have any questions that you might have also all this process of being uh, business owner I didn't even said the name of the brand but it's really strange I didn't want to do advertising and then I start talking about it so eventually yeah <laughs> I've been doing the rebranding as I said and I just want to focus on taking more pictures to my products uh, better pictures with better quality I need to do pictures of me wearing all the um, pieces or my friends as well uh, I had this planned out like since I don't know November that I wanted to uh, to do this take pictures and use my friends as models for my items and it never never it never happened as you might know or not if you listen to the last episodes of the podcast I'm only gonna go back to work in September so I have plenty of time to work on this but on the other hand I have to wait for all the items to arrive because I can't do much until everything arrives because for example my earrings they are pretty much sold out and I still have some hair clips but I just I'm just waiting for uh, the hair pins the new ones to arrive and the earrings as well and then all the new cards that will sh be shipping out with the orders as well so all of that I need to wait until I can actually start taking the pictures of the items because I don't have any here yet so I've been thinking about that and I I've been thinking about how I've been focusing so much of my time on my brand and obviously I have to because it's my brand you know but I really like it and I appreciate all my friends and I said this in every episode but it's true I appreciate all my friends that have been sharing they've been buying like it's crazy how much better the 
the brand is doing and i just hope that it will go much 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 better because i if you don't know the purpose of me creating this was just representation really i really thought the same way that i started doing uh, my videos about hair in portuguese um, I also felt that he's missing more representation, specific, and that's why I wanted to do something related to that. But I really, really appreciate, but I really, really wanted to do something like this and it makes me happy and proud to see people using them and even like buying just to support me. I really like that a lot. Talking about that, I need to talk about this amazing initiative, Black Pound Day. Uh, it's an initiative to support Black-owned business here in the UK. This was crea uh, created by a music artist, Swiss. He decided to put this idea forward and it's like he says, we have to do it we have to create the opportunities for us in this day and age we don't have to wait for nobody to help us and we see that if black people continue to suffer the same things that it's been suffering for ages now now that we actually can do something about it we have to do this effort I saw somewhere that black people in general create, generate, not create, generate loads of money for other businesses. But the black community only gets like a small percentage of that money. So that makes me think it's like, we need to put the money in our own pockets because nobody else will. And that's why when I saw this, I was like, yes, I'm down for it. So if you don't know what this is about, it's like you on, so this day was uh, on the 27. I think when this episode goes live, it's already past the 27. But the 27, on the 27th Saturday, we are only spending money either online or locally on a black businesses in this case in the UK I totally totally support this idea I'm up for it I'm already on it I have friends that have businesses here in the UK so for sure I'm gonna give them a shout out so people can see them get to know them uh, check their pages, check the products so they can support them and become their customers, probably. Who knows? But this is such a great idea. I was so, so glad that this is happening. And one thing to let you know is this will be happening every month. So from the 27th, uh, Saturday, so in a month, you're gonna have the opportunity to do the same. Buy and support black-owned businesses here in the UK. I hope this goes beyond the UK. To be honest, I want to I want this idea to be spread out, and I hope that everybody that's listening this uh, takes this idea to their countries and do the same thing. I hope that uh, the listeners, my friends, for example. In Portugal do the same because we have to support ourselves because nobody else will is the reality and you need to face it um, use platforms as my part because here that makes no really sense for me to talk about which businesses um you should support or not uh but if you go on instagram and just 
uh, put hashtag Black Pound Day, you can find loads and loads and loads of businesses that you can support. And then in a month time, but not only in a month time, you should do this more regularly than ever. Just spend money on people that understand you, people that will support you, people that are on your side. But yeah, follow that hashtag, Black Pound Day, and then you will find loads of uh, businesses there that you can either go to their uh, restaurants, shops, um, sa- hair salons, or buy their stuff online, like my own business as well. I cannot forget <laughs> my own because I have businesses also. I have to include myself in that. And I really applaud, applaud Swiss for doing this and for using his voice as a music artist that he knows loads of people to actually do something for our community. It's amazing. And if you can, support not only once a month, but whenever you have the opportunity. Even a small share, a small like, a small comment helps a long way. Trust me, I know that. That's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you are all well. Some of you probably are back to work already. So I'm with you. You can do it. Um, Don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms. They are in the description. Rate and subscribe to this podcast wherever you are listening. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, and Anchor. If you want to leave any voice messages, that I will start posting them on the next episodes as well. So that's it for me. See you in the next episode. Take care. Bye.